As far as I'm concerned, I prefer silent voice to ostentatious virtue. Few are those who see with their own eyes and feel with their own hearts. Few people are capable of expressing with equanimity opinions which differ from the prejudices of their social environment. Most people are even incapable of forming such opinions. Force always attracts men of low morality. God always takes the simplest way. God does not play dice. All that is valuable in human society depends upon the opportunity for development accorded the individual. Everyone should be respected as an individual, but no one idolized. An empty stomach is not a good political advisor. A man should look for what is, and not for what he thinks should be. A perfection of means, and confusion of aims, seems to be our main problem. A person who never made a mistake never tried anything new. A question that sometimes drives me hazy, am I or are the others crazy? When you are courting a nice girl an hour seems like a second, when you sit on a red hot cinder a second seems like an hour, that's relativity. All religions, arts and sciences are branches of the same tree. Before God we are all equally wise, and equally foolish. All these primary impulses, not easily described in words, are the springs of man's actions. As far as the laws of mathematics refer to reality, they are not certain, and as far as they are certain, they do not refer to reality. Anger dwells only in the bosom of fools. Any intelligent fool can make things bigger and more complex. It takes a touch of genius, and a lot of courage to move in the opposite direction. Any man who can drive safely while kissing a pretty girl is simply not giving the kiss the attention it deserves. Any man who reads too much and uses his own brain too little falls into lazy habits of thinking. The hardest thing to understand in the world is the income tax. Isn't it strange that I who have written only unpopular books should be such a popular fellow? One may say the eternal mystery of the world is its comprehensibility. One strength of the communist system of the East is that it has some of the character of a religion and inspires the emotions of a religion. Only a life lived for others is a life worthwhile. Only one who devotes himself to a cause with his whole strength and soul can be a true master. For this reason mastery demands all of a person. Only two things are infinite the universe and human stupidity, and I'm not sure about the former. Our task must be to free ourselves by widening our circle of compassion to embrace all living creatures and the whole of nature and its beauty. Sometimes one pays most for the things one gets for nothing. People love chopping wood, in this activity one immediately sees results. Solitude is painful when one is young, but delightful when one is more mature. Politics is for the present, but an equation is for eternity. The attempt to combine wisdom and power has only rarely been successful and then only for a short while. Reading, after a certain age, diverts the mind too much from its creative pursuits. Any man who reads too much and uses his own brain too little falls into lazy habits of thinking. Science is a wonderful thing if one does not have to earn one's living at it. Science without religion is lame, religion without science is blind. 
Small is the number of people who see with their eyes and think with their minds. A table, a chair, a bowl of fruit and a violin. What else does a man need to be happy? Peace cannot be kept by force, it can only be achieved by understanding. Everything that can be counted does not necessarily count, everything that counts cannot necessarily be counted. Common sense invents and constructs no less than its own field than science does in its domain. It is, however, in the nature of common sense not to be aware of this situation. Common sense is the collection of prejudices acquired by age 18. Concern for man and his fate must always form the chief interest of all technical endeavors. Never forget this in the midst of your diagrams and equations. Confusion of goals and perfection of means seems, in my opinion, to characterize our age. Do not worry about your difficulties in mathematics, I can assure you mine are still greater. Education is what remains after one has forgotten what one has learned in school. Gravitation is not responsible for people falling in love. Everything should be as simple as it is, but not simpler.